walk a little bit where she wants to go and what are you feeling for just feeling like where she wants to drift out a little bit uh, and where if I, if I can just kind of put her between me and keep her thinking up through the withers sit on the haunch a little bit and then i want a little half pass come on no no there we go don't fall nice and gentle I don't want a very steep one right now. I just kind of go soft and all right, hind with you. Yes. Okay. Nope. There. I feel like she was just a little bit over, wanted to overturn and fall into the right shoulder. So I was like, nope, you're going to stay balanced okay. on the outside shoulder. Stay on the outside shoulder a little bit. And this is the side she has a tendency to twist off of the okay. left connection. Okay. But since I've been doing the shoulder, the sternum to her right ear feeling, it's been improving. Okay. I can't say it's gone away, Steady. but it's much better. Oop, keep the outside. Don't fall off the outside shoulder. Yeah, I want, there we go. Then she just softened a little bit to the outside half halt and yeah, I saw that. Good girl. Outside. Don't fall out the outside. Come on. Yes. We can go a little half pass into this. Keep the left shoulder though. So keeping the left shoulder up? Like, yep, well, keeping it from falling right almost. I'm going yeah. to come back to the left a little bit with uh -huh. the left shoulder. Okay. And this is a little bit tricky for her. She's like, whoosh, and then whoosh, and then whoosh. But I'm trying to go, <laughs> trying to keep the left, hold the left stable, hold the left stable, bring the left hind gently along, but keep the left stable and gentle flexion right. And it's like, that's just a challenge there. Hmm. Keep it stable enough. It's okay. Her tricky part is not letting her wiggle and waggle uh -huh. too much yep. from right to left because she can really cha-cha with the best of them. Right. And that was fairly evident on that half pass. She's like, yes. whoosh, whoosh. I could go yes. whoosh, 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 whoosh. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, that wasn't quite how I wanted it, though. I'm going to do that again. I just feel like I need a little more prompt from behind, but not abrupt. And then... Okay. Yeah, she's coming under behind now. Okay, I can take this. Mm. Forward. Okay, so I just gotta feel this trot. Half halt. Supple inside. Inside leg, half halt outside. Supple, supple. And a little more. Yes. Now I feel like she came softer, the connection came up a little bit more. Mm. Wait. So when she wants to dive down, I'm just gonna be a little bit firm about half halt and then as soon as she's soft again bump with the inside leg bump once and then okay, she can when come. she softens bump with the inside yeah sometimes with both maybe but like here especially ah. it's like come up i want her almost stepping into the right shoulder a little bit like slight ah. shoulder for a little bit mm. so i'm gonna go bump with the left Oop, she didn't really react <clears throat> there came the right hand yep. when you did that yep and i flicked her with whip two. Oh, uh, that was the one yeah, okay. I want a little shoulder forward position, and I want her to be a little supple, and then bump with the left. Bump, yeah, but I needed that whip tap again because I didn't get the response from my left leg. Okay. Good. Nope, nope, don't hang. Yep, that's okay. Because that's the response I want yeah. there from behind. Like, no, snap it up a little bit. Yeah. Because then she can get off the left shoulder into that moment. Fall. Don't fall out. Yeah. Here's, I feel like I need to almost counter flex her a little bit to keep, yeah. the, keep her stepping into the, the inside a little bit. Okay. And we're going to try to get a little shoulder floor positioning, but it's tough because I don't want her falling out the left shoulder too much. Here I am posting on the wrong diagonal. <laughs> outside, outside, outside. Yep, soften. Outside, tap, 
Tap, tap. And oh. she responds pretty well. After a while, she'll tune you out. Okay, yep. Then you can just give her a good one. Yeah, I, feel, I could because feel that I was touching it. She's like, no. Nah. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah okay. you can just really get it smarting because she'll just keep blowing you off. Outside. So even though you do the outside, you keep holding that because she doesn't want to connect. I'm right, to right. I'm, I'm feeling like she's not, she almost wants to just flex right, shul, throw the haunch, uh, sorry, so shoulder, shoulder, bleh, throw the shoulders left and leave the haunches to the inside, to the right. Like I'm kind of going, she almost wants to go, even if she may not flex a lot, but she almost bends the neck, falls out the left shoulder and the haunches are in a, Banana, -y, like banana position like this almost, right? And I'm trying to go step the right hind up under, just a little shoulder four position without her falling the shoulders out. Does that sort of make sense? Yes, and that's where Betsy has me do a ronver. Uh -huh. She'll shoulder yes. into a ronver, yep. and then she'll start to make the connection and step Correct. under better. Yep. So you're taking a different approach. A little bit, but it's the same idea because I would ride. I could ride the same uh, same exact thing because it is like I could go shoulder in Ron Ver and then get her off of the or connect to the outside and be a little softer on it, and then actually almost shortening the left side of her body a little bit. Yeah. Because I'm going no, you yeah. can't just lengthen yeah. the left uh, the left side too mm -hmm. much. There. So let's go a little. Nope. And I don't want the haunches falling out either. Two trainers ago, she would just allow the lot of twisting off, okay. and so it became a very ingrained Walk. habit. Yep. Although the feeling that I'm seeing as far as when I flex her right a little bit isn't quite as what I thought when when she was when I, before I'd even taught you, and we, I think we talked about her twisting a little bit more. Mm. Is it? It doesn't seem to be as. You gotta walk a little bit more chill. Yeah. See, like right there, it's a better, but he's, she's yep. going right to left, right to, do you feel that? Uh-huh, this little swing, and swing, swing, And then she swing. caps her hocks. So it's interesting because then she carries herself when she goes side to side, it's, it's awfully odd, but her hocks, um, <laughs> so it makes me ride her more straight and forward when I figured that out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really don't like getting those treated. No, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Yep. So it's it's tough because I want to. You need. She yes. needs to go forward in the walk, but then she goes a little too. Bleh. And so I want to try to. You have to collect a little bit and then go <laughs> forward again, and then maybe collect a little bit to get a truer walk. Like it's still a little side to side. Come on. But I'm like, no, we're just gonna go to try here. And I want to do that transition one more time. I don't want to be too picky on the first ride with her, but. Yeah. Just let her trust me a little bit. Now we need that left half fall. And I'm going to go, yes, there, she waited huh? on. She finally got off of me a little bit. Mm. There we go, and I could have just the babyest of Ronda air positioning, and she's like, okay. Okay. And then if I rode her like that, that's actually quite nice. Yeah, keep it is. It, keep it. I'm kind of like that. Keep the spring in her trot, like on a trampoline a little bit. A little bit Ronda ish da 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 good because now I don't have to hold that and now so I'm then I start to see a little bit of lift and finally uh -huh. like a possibility of I can't say lengthen but it's a right. lot better I could, quality I would be able to feel that from here yes because it nope and she hung and we got to engage the hind a little bit okay I'm going okay so I need to plug into her back with bear down and thighs attached I'm going sit 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 down a little bit on my seat bones yes Ah. And then she listened to that body a lot, and I don't really need the connection here. Good for you. Yeah, good girl. Oh, she's then beautiful. She <laughs> good. You know you love my horse. I do. <laughs> good girl. Nice. Good girl. But it's, I, I feel like it's making sure she never gets stuck into the inside shoulder and into the inside hand, or the left side, really. Okay. It's always, she has to stay... At least Carrying from what I'm feeling herself. here, that's right. She cannot get heavy on the on the left, okay. especially, and that's where she wants to. Okay. Good. Nice. Good. There Good. We come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ha! But that 
like she was very sensitive to me kind of suctioning down into her back and feeling like and it's not really a feeling I can explain as much as like no I saw but it but like though. there's this up down more that I can get into her back and mm. lift her up and bring her back down and lift her up there's like suction cup down into her and then she's like okay and it's a little bit like the feeling of if I'm doing a slow jump on a trampoline. It's like spring, 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 and you get that underneath of you. Okay. Um, she could, I could definitely see her giving you a place to sit. Yes, totally. And then you were able to calibrate that. Yep. So then I can, I can decide if I wanted a little bit more springy or a little more forward. Bouncy, okay. You know. I think about kind of like bouncing a ball. If I bounce it too fast or slower, I could bounce it in the rhythm that I wanted, or the tempo really that I wanted. Okay, we'll do a wee canter and then you can hop on in. But it was quite, quite good as far as, as soon as she let me into her back, mm. I didn't need the hands very much at all. Okay. So if there's that, like, she's getting heavy on me, then she's probably not, I needed a more of a half halt, I need more bear down, I need to get into her back and then I can release it. Okay. It's okay. A little more jump into this counter. So I need to connect to the one, one, one. A little bit more, yeah? Because I want her sitting on the haunch a little bit more so she can bring the shoulder up a little bit more, feeling. One, one, inside leg, bump, bump. Yep, um, good. Um. So one, one, yep. And what are your hands doing? Just right a little now. half halt. Here is just being a two. Okay. And then I might have to half halt to the corner outside a little bit. Keep a little supple left. Half halt. One. Leg. Leg. Yep. A little more jump. Tap the haunch once. Tap the haunch once again. I'm just trying to go come up in the front a little bit more by sitting down in the back. And then I can be free to give a little bit. Mm. Good. That's okay. If you make her angry, the only thing she'll do is she'll just bunk up a little bit okay. with the hind, okay. but she won't do anything nasty of her. One. One. Good. Yep. Now she's working behind. Yep. Like. Yep. Now she's going to sit and I can tap <clears> her a couple times and it's like, yeah. Tap. One. 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 Bump. Yeah, position is good. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Good. Says, That's I it. hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> okay, so that was like a pogo stick. <laughs> She's really getting into that um, lighter seat thing to the yeah. point where I have to kind of watch her. That I do n remember to close up with my lower leg, even yeah, though yeah. I come lighter yes. with my seat because to keep she'll the shut forward. down and do yeah, that yeah. stab Boom. deal. Yep. Yeah, she'll. She really wants to be a stock horse now. I think. <laughs> Just bring her to a trot from the canter okay, yep. and then ask for one kind of lift and lengthen just to, yep. just to see yep. because what I'd like to that? know what you feel and what she's going to respond to and if your aids are different because I just have such a hard time Yeah, and I okay. shouldn't. Like most of my horses that have ever extended, just I close, they lift and, and they, they come yeah. up. So, and she needs a little bit more of the plugger down to be able to lift her up. Okay. I, I feel like in that. Okay. Nice. Yep. Keep the jump though. Good girl. She can collect more of the stretch and don't bring the haunches in though. Yeah, I just need that little bit of, I could kind of flex a tiny bit. Yeah. And then you can hold yourself and bring a little more jump into it. Come on. Come on. One. Good girl. Whoops, that's okay. Outside half hole. Yes. Bring it under. That's okay. That's a good girl. So she's kind of leaning on the right? Uh-huh. Okay, I see that. So, yep, <laughs> He's <that's> like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get under a little bit. Ah, good. Yeah. So I just use a little bit more inside leg on, like bump. And yeah, I need that. I need to ride with like a that little bit of counter flex to go. Come over here a bit, and then I can bring her back and bump with the right leg. Bump. Yeah. Bump. Okay. Yep. That opens it up. Yeah. Hmm. Good. Good. Huh. Yep. There. That's a different counter. Yeah. Whoops. Can try to get out of it. Yep. <laughs> to bump with. 
Good. Come on. Mm-hmm. Bring it. Uh, you, got, you haven't quite come through off the left side yet. Yeah, she'd rather yeah. collect and keep it short and up and down than really come through and forward. I don't know if she's not special in that technique, <laughs> but... Come on. Oh, just, there we go. Ah, she's waiting for a change is what she's uh -huh. doing. But that's okay because I'm, I'm kind of flexing a little bit going, no. Oh, you, okay. Even if it is thinking about a change, I need to straighten up her. Straighten. Come on. Good girl. Yep. Yep. Good. She's trying really hard. Good. One, one, one. Okay. Nope, we're not gonna do that, yep. Yeah, she knows that That's okay. sound. Left hip. That's okay. I'm gonna do that again. Mm. I don't wanna yeah. Like overdo it a bit. Yeah, I know. I just want to feel like, okay, that's okay. She's like, okay, I got the idea a little mm. bit. Yeah, she did. She can do good ones. That hot leaf. That's like um, really great. Okay, good girl. Good. So, like, so easy for her. <laughs> when I plug into her back, it's like. Oh, I'm not <laughs> been plugged for years. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> But that was huh. like, all I did was I sat into her, she was up in front and bump, bump, a and she, okay. And I don't know how big that was, but like she put effort into it. You know, it was here. I am happy because that's like about this much more than I've had before. Okay. So it looked like, huh. So we can work on that because I think when you're in that, what's the connection for you? Is it a little bit heavier? Or? Yes. So that's probably why. Because then she goes flatter and faster. Yep. And, and I try to keep this, hard. Yeah. keep this, but. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so if you were to give me a number, good girl. If you were to give me a number on how core, like shoring up you had to do. Yeah, with well, my core strength, I was probably like a six and, and maybe a seven in some of that. So um, that's pretty strong. It's pretty strong in some of that like medium-ish work. And then any of the work that I had to, when I had to ride more of a firmer half halt to say come off of me, I was probably up in that, in that level. In when you ride scamp and you're not asking for anything fantastic, but just what, what is your core? Probably a five or a six. His normal working trot is... Mm -hmm way harder to sit than hers. Yeah, she's got a great trot. It's lovely. So scamp is like, you know, I have to put effort into just a normal trot to keep, to keep myself on his back. Get ready, let's go right into some trot work. Uh, once okay. you feel like she's, you get her kind of connected and you can get her half halted on the outside ring yeah. enough. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then what's your bear down number here? Well, I don't feel like I'm in the delivery room. <laughs> well, um, that's good. <laughs> you have a real good uh, ability to bear down, you Boy, know. Why <laughs> do I? I didn't know what I was doing the first time, but I figured it out. <laughs> so. Okay, so I'd say um, four. Okay. Is that not that's enough? Fine. Nope, that's fine. Just what is your hold on the rain number? Too many. That's okay, why I just so kicked that's her. Probably <laughs> why that, that's probably why. <laughs> You probably need to be stronger in your core then. Just think about it. Whatever your hand okay. is, it has to be stronger in your core. Would you say it's 50% to this? Is it no, a 50-50 no, ratio? No, it's honestly, it could be one or two notches more. Okay. If you're at a four in your hands, you should mm -hmm. get five or six in your core. So it doesn't have to be like, Stop it. you know, 70, per, way more in your core. Because then you could almost, you can sometimes be too strong in your core and that will, could, could shut them down too. Okay. If you're like, you know, way too much. Okay. So we work on that shorten your reins a little bit. And then you got a little bit more cadence in the trot. Just think about breathing down, bearing down, sinking, 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 down, down. Yep. Good, good. Outside half halt. Now, can you put a little power into that? Not faster though. Just bump with your lower leg once. Bump, bump. Tap her with the whip once. Yes, that's okay. Now we can allow the trot to go a little bit more forward thinking instead of just lift, because she did get very cadency into that. Now, what's your left half halt doing? Is she staying soft on it? Yes. Okay. If I remember. Okay. 
So are you breathing? Do it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Good. Breathe. That you look very stable here. And there is a lot of cadence in this trot. Now what I would do is I would let the trot just get a little bit softer by breathing down a little bit more and allow the trot to go a little bit more forward now. And a thing to, to also possibly think about is think about a, I don't know what this is gonna do for you, but imagine you have a, a diagonal line in your body from your sternum to your tailbone. And I want the weight in your body to almost come down like that. Not just by leaning back, but like if you could literally think, can you shift down towards your tailbone to the back of the saddle a little bit? So that sternum shifted this way or this? No, so straight. Yeah. But if you had a diagonal line pointing from here through your body towards your tailbone. So just like a straight line back down. Oh, it worked. Yes. Yep. Sternum to tailbone would sternum be straight. straight down. So not that I, I don't want this to happen yeah, at all. No. You have this, but think about you could take some pressure in your body and go down towards the back of your seat and you go sit down on, on her haunch. So she sits on her haunch a little bit. Okay. Not by at all leaning forward or not leaning back either, but it's like, hey, can I take that <gasps> diagonal line towards the tailbone and go sit, sit, sit into the back of the saddle a little bit. And that's mainly when I want the more collected cadency stuff where they have to sit back down a little bit more. Okay. And then I could soften and be straight back up and down again. But there's a ability to kind of pressure down towards the back and go, hey, sit into, sit into her back. And you keep your sternum a little forward. Yep. And then if you want to cadence it up a little bit, go a little bit, huff, halt, huff, halt, bear, down, sinking, down, 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 yes. Sternum to back, sternum to tailbone, sternum to tailbone, bear, down, thighs attached and breathe. Good, good. Super. And then make sure you're getting that ability to soften a little bit more here and there. And actually try to throw your reins away here and there mm -hmm. just to go, just to make sure. Yeah. Little left half up, tiny supp supple right, but left half up. And bear down in that moment and then rev her a little forward here. Yes, yes, there, there, there. Pretty. Do it again. Say whatever you just said. <laughs> I'm a repeat girl. <laughs> it was a bear down, plug down, half halt, and build her a little. Yes. Forward. Bear down. Yep. Half halt. And there. Now bump with the lower leg. Soften your hands and go a little forward. Outside half halt. Bump, bump. Bear down. Diagonal line. Bump again. Give her a tap with the whip once. That's okay. That was a quick snap behind. And then we got to connect the outside half halt again. And make sure she's soft on that. Um. Yep. Breathing down, bearing down, powering. Yep. And I don't know if you get the feeling of like bouncing on a tramp, but it's like spring, 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 bearing down. Advance your collar a little forward when you get a little bit behind because then you lose that push mm -hmm. down through your seat. Yes. Yes. Soften a little bit. Yes. Push forward. Advance your collar one. Bear down. Breathe down. Yep. Now right a half hop. Yeah. Now soften again because you tuck down and then we gotta half up, lift her up a little bit. Yep, soften your hand and leg, 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 bumper, lower legs. Yes, just Both or one? Both, here, Kay. both legs. Yep, there, there. Now stay with the motion though, you wanna mm. get behind it, yep. Yeah, I didn't wanna do it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta push forward a little bit in your upper body. Think sternum forward. Yep, there. Now soften your hands again. What's the number in your hands? <laughs> Okay. Okay. That's okay. Half halt. Yep. Exactly. It, that's okay. That's it. That, now ride another half halt if you need to. That you can, you can get her to not hang on you. Half halt okay. firmly. Bear down more. Close your thighs. Sink down. Now soften and bump a little forward. And then I would probably walk because she's getting all tired into that. Yeah. You could see. So that was. It was before the last set was really lovely, and then she got a little bit like getting a little bit, wanting to dive down and get a little yeah. heavy and then she loses that push from behind. But then when she gets heavy, you get a little heavy too and you lean behind the motion. Ah. And then, then we need this sternum a little bit more forward so the diagonal line's a little further apart. Well, as soon as you said bring the sternum forward, I realized how far back I was behind the vertical. Yes. Yeah, because you were getting to that moment when she was getting heavy 
but then you were getting heavy right back and you had to lean back into it instead of bearing down into your core more uh, and pushing your sternum more So I'm more compensating forward. by going here. Exactly, and then it makes it worse. Yes, it sure then, did. then she gets even heavier and then she gets more on the forehand. But the moment you were able to go, you know, and sit down on your seat, uh, but push the body forward, then you could give your hands and you could now keep powering forward. Even though it was harder for her, because she had to, I mean, it got harder because she was mm -hmm. getting tired. Um, but then you were able to actually give her more room to come up again. <laughs> so here's a picture for you. Imagine, you know, like an elk head on a wall? <laughs> yes. Like the back of it's like velvet. Okay. Imagine that's her. If you cut her into three pieces, you've got your middle section, your front third, the middle section, and the back third. Imagine that her wall is right here by the front of the shoulder, right in front of okay. the saddle, and it's mm -hmm. got a velvet back on it, and you have, you, the front of your body has to be the wall. And you're going, I'm gonna stay attached to her neck by how you oh. stay forward. If you get behind the wall, her neck drops down. Because then there's this. This gap there. And you're thinking the force inside of your body has to push forward enough. Again, it's not leaning forward, but yeah. push forward enough to attach to her front wall. And then you guys stay together. And you can almost like, like we said before, like the suction up to your wall, like the martingale. Yeah. So if you stay, if you I'll get behind that, that, that's okay. But if you get behind that, you can't suction up to it. So the force inside of you has to push into that wall so that you can then think, bring her up to me, not okay. with your hands, but like bear down, push into the front wall. She has so many gears in her trot. Everybody it's, says that. There's a lot in there. So it's like, we've got to try find a decent, not too cadency okay. and not too flat. Somewhere in the middle that she can power into. Good girl. Mm -hmm. Push into the wall, bear down. Yep, good. And then we just go a little bit of power by advancing the collar one, push into the wall, breathe. Good job. This is a beautiful trot here. Now you fell behind the motion. Mm. Pushing, pushing, pushing into the wall. Yep. Good. Good. How does this feel to you? Good. Good. Just keep your sternum down a little bit so you don't get too tall and back. Just pushing forward, pushing into the wall. Good job. Every time your hands get heavy, you probably have to push into the wall. Good. Good. Now build the trot a little bit. Just, she's very up here in the pole, it's good. Now just a little power, pushing the wall, pushing the wall, bump, bump, well, that's okay. That horse. That's okay. She tried really hard to activate the hind end, she just, just came up too much. <laughs> it's because so, I whipped her at the same Yeah, <laughs> I figured, but <laughs> pushing the wall, pushing the wall, little trot, more. Pushing the wall, leg, bump, 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 there, that's okay. And she got a little cadency, so think about your bounce being a little bit quicker, 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 instead of slower, oh. yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Again, that's her going, this is a little hard. Okay. Now make sure you got her connected on the outside that she's not heavy on the left. So tug, tug. I mean right. Well, she, what she gets is she bulges out the left shoulder. So left half halt once or twice, and then you supple right. It's okay. But then- Not as nice as you are. That's okay. <laughs> so a little, little left half halt again, almost okay. counterflexor. And then you can go when she's there, a little more counterflex. When she's like, yep, there. Now straighten and soften her a little bit. Yeah, good. Push into the wall, bump, bump with the leg. Yep, and think about your bounces getting a little too slow. So a little quicker, 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 quicker trot. Yep, there, there, there. Oop, then, then a little cadency, a little bit too much again. Push into the wall, bear down, and yes, pretty, really pretty. Really pretty, there we go. Almost, there, keep that trot for a little bit. That's nice. It's a little bit less cadency springy up yeah. and it's just a little bit more flowy. That would be, I would say, a little bit more towards what you'd want to take into the show for. But what, what does this feel like compared to normal to you? You can walk. Well, I think my training, I don't spend enough time asking for consistent work like that yes i say oh you just gave me 10 steps oh you gave yep. me 20. yeah let's go do something else because i have painly an attention span of a gnat <laughs> and i don't want to over i totally understand her, that though yeah but having said that in order to understand feel and change of seat and feel I have to have mileage. Yes. And so feeling that for the last 
three, four uh -huh. times around. Yep. In time, short time, I will learn to It'll love just that be trot. Like, that's the, yeah, that's the trot. Yeah. And what trot is was that last that's a, trot? What I would call a lovely collected type trot because you could go at a half pass out of that. You could go anything. That was collected? That. Mm hmm. That's what I would call a collected trot. Oh, so we've been doing more passage here. You're before. getting too, and all too the stuff passage. we were doing before is too passage. Yep. Because she just, she gets ah. too active and, and too, you know, springy into it. Not too active, but sometimes she can be. But um, yeah. I, I want a little less that okay. into the regular collected trot. A little more forward thinking, and then you can flow into all your work. Because she, she's, she's really good at going passage more, a little bit less, passage more, a little bit less. And instead of just going, let's just power into, and it's going to be a great quality to be able to go, you can add more cadence to it for actually going to passage and stuff like that. But your regular tr working trot, that's what I would want. That's what it felt like. But you fooled me by saying it was more collected, but I've been doing so much then. Passage when I thought, well, because I like the feel of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, the, the passage is technically more collected, oh. but that would be like your pre St. George I1 collected trot work. Like when you're going Which to would, a test, the, not the, the passage stuff. The, that no? last two circles. Are you kidding me? Nope. Oh, I'm glad we had this lesson. Yeah. <sighs> because it's, it's flowy, there's power in it, it's not too big, um, and it's not too cadency. I think she gets too cadency in, in a lot of the stuff. Uh, and it's easier to sit it. I, I, it's like, mm -hmm. I know how nice it is sometimes you go mm -hmm. just add a little more passage to it. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it just sucks you up and down into it. And it's like, ah. Yeah. Instead now, of see, just a little more. That's all you want to do. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and she says, you know, it's slower. It might be a little more work, but maybe not, though, because for her, c pushing, coming up this way is yeah. harder for her than just yeah. doing this. She can spring all day she long. Can. Yeah. Well, I think that was probably a little bit harder mm. for her to do that last two or three circles of just pushing into it. So I am finding from what I've, you've ridden and what I've seen through feeling that I need more connectivity with the outside with a half halt coming up with both legs bump, which helps her lift and then do that. Yep, that up. comes up, the neck comes up and through, and yeah, okay. I agree with that. So outside half halt, and sometimes maybe both, but especially to the right, I feel like outside half halt. Okay. And as soon as she's going, okay, I can soften and not bulge through the outside shoulder, then you go and go a little bit. Okay, and then at that moment is when I felt some really good lift. Now, when I'm not asking for a normal, um, well, shall we say your collected drop, <laughs> but then I started feeling her really coming through mm -hmm. like you were asking for more of a length than just at the last set. Yeah. And that's like the second time I felt that on her. Okay. But two, how long am I on this one? <laughs> Six years. Yeah. Well, you've done a lot with her though. She clearly has this ability to come up and suction up, which is a really good quality to have because you don't have a flat horse. Like to just soften it a little bit and make it just a little flatter, which is not what we want here normally, but, <laughs> but what she needs is just a little bit. And then it's like, it's actually, huh, like she can just flow into that, even though it's not her natural. Her natural yeah. is just a lift and spring. <clears throat> but then when you go for passage, it's gonna be like. Dynamite, oh! right? Yeah. The Piaf might be maybe a little bit harder, well, but I don't know. Well, not when you start training with a little whip right here, right here underneath her hock. You, you, her, okay. she can step like... <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah, that collected work is going to be okay. amazing.